Hi guys and girls, in this first ever Savory Nuggets video, we're going to be talking about ships, ship terminology, ship parts, etc. I've put off making this video for a while because for me it's quite difficult to make a video and then put it out there without editing it and making it as good as it can be. I did say though that Savory Nuggets is all about teaching and less about editing and it's an opportunity for me to use these 3D models and explain different things that I know about engineering to people who perhaps don't already know these bits of information and different topics. I'll be honest and say I was a little bit scared about putting these videos out there because I don't really want to have my inbox or comments area totally full of hate mail or troll comments etc. But I really enjoy teaching and passing information on to other people so I'm just going to chuck this video online with minimum editing and if people don't like it they can leave a comment in the comments area and if the video is really really bad and people really hate it then I suppose we'll have to take it down and we'll have to draw a line under Savory Nuggets and say that it just didn't work. But let's start this video by assuming that Savory Nuggets is going to be a huge success and this is the first ever Savory Nuggets video. What are we going to talk about in this video? We're going to be looking at a large container ship. That is this container ship that we're looking at right now. I wanted to do this video because the first ever ships that I worked on when I trained as a marine engineering cadet were actually container ships. I even worked for this company and this company is the largest shipping company in the world. It's called Maersk and I worked on G-class ships which at the time were quite large. Nowadays this ship here is actually larger in terms of capacity, much larger than the ships that I worked on and I was only at sea about 15 years ago. So you might be wondering just how big is this ship? Well this one here is about 400 meters long and about 60 meters wide. That is huge. To give you a reference the Titanic was only 270 meters long. This ship when fully loaded has a dead weight of almost 200,000 tons. When we're talking about fuel consumption we're talking about hundreds of tons per day and what ships actually burn as fuel is what we call heavy fuel oil or HFO and it's horrible. You can't even pump it unless you get it up to about 60 degrees celsius. It's sticky like tar and after you've worked with HFO for a while you'll realize that things like diesel are a real luxury. In the next video we'll talk about ship engines in a lot more detail but for now let's stay focused on this particular ship. So let's start with the absolute basics. The first thing you need to know about ships is that everything on a ship has a different name. You don't call a kitchen a kitchen, you actually call it a galley. The place where you live is not a room, it's a cabin. You don't have floors on a boat, you have decks. And if you're facing forward, the left side of the ship is called the port side and the right side is called the starboard side. You don't call the back end of the ship the back, you call it the aft or the stern. You don't call the front the front, you call it the fore or the bow. A lot of people that I've worked with in the past, they actually just say to people who are just starting off on boats, this is the pointy bit and the other bit is the flat bit and that would be the back of the ship or as I say the stern or the aft. The main structure of the ship is the hull. That can be considered the skin of the ship. It's what stops the water getting into the ship. At the aft end of the vessel we have two rudders and the rudders allow us to steer the vessel. And to the fore of the rudders we have the propellers. Again here is the one and here is the other. If we've got two propellers like you can see here we call it a twin screw vessel. If we've got one we call it a single screw vessel. We've got some lines painted on the aft end here. Those are draft marks and we use those to get a reference point on just how heavily loaded the vessel may be. You can see we've also got some other lines at this point here. While we're up here we'll take a look at this strange shape. This thorn like shape is a bulbous bow. I've never known a part of a ship get so much attention as the bulbous bow. 
Some people think it's for ramming whales and sharks and getting them out of the way. In our next video, I'm going to show you exactly how we can push a 200,000 ton ship through the water by using a large two-stroke marine engine. Hope to see you on that next video. Thanks for your time.